I welcome you all for uh, your uh, module three retail management class, uh, which we are going to deal with uh, the location strategy. Okay, I think uh, this may take around uh, two class minimum to complete the section of uh, location strategy. Okay, in retail management. Okay, uh, this will be your uh, part one. You can take it as a part one uh, module three. Okay, uh, like your uh, location strategy. Fine. Okay. So very foremost thing which for uh, any uh, retailer it is important to look for, okay, uh, in especially retailing industry the location matters a lot. So that's why we say what are those three most important things in uh, retailing is the location, location, the location. Where uh, location plays a very important role in uh, finding the best place where the huge hub of uh, you know customers will be passing through, okay, and maybe it will be very convenient for any. Retailer to reach the customers as well as the customers will be also having uh, more convenience in visiting the store on the basis of the location. So there are many challenges which are uh, you know need to be considered while selecting the location for your uh, retail store. Uh, it includes cost, okay, and related advantage and disadvantage, uh, which is very specific to the location, okay, and the investment what if people do. Okay, and the risk which is involved with uh, you know meeting the customers or reaching the customers with the required you know amount of uh, merchandise on the basis of uh, the need which the segment is having. So for any, uh, as I told you, location is a very important ingredient for any uh, business in uh, retailing where it completely relies on the customers. Uh, you no, know, the retail shops, you know, basically a retail shops will be relying more on the customers. Okay, and also it is one of the very uh, difficult for any uh, retailers to plan for okay and uh, if we select any location it may be or may not be complete at the end once we are going to implement the plan uh, with respect to the location uh, the decision which people have taken on then also uh, the decision which uh, as i told you know when it, when it comes to the location it will be very complex one uh, it, is, it is something like a dilemma where the people have some uh, intuition uh, the belief what any retailer will be having on certain uh, site or location what he is going to select. Okay, that includes a lot of uh, effort that any retailer has to put in understanding the uh, you know uh, the nature of the locality around the location which he has selected to start his retail business or to set up the retail store there. Okay, the understanding the customer's uh, requirement. Okay, and this is very complex one, not so easily available uh, ready-made. He has to go through different type of uh, you know method of uh, survey or do ultimately a research on that basis you know information which is furnished by the research formally done uh, probably will be helping him in taking the decisions. So yeah, it, it also includes uh, a cost uh, which is very high enough for them and also it's very little uh, you know a flexible one uh, especially when we are choosing the you know location. Uh, immediately, we, we, we people cannot shift from that place. A lot, it takes a lot of effort, okay, a risk which is involved in you know shifting your retail store from one location to other location, which includes a cost. So that's why it is not so much flexible enough in uh, changing location once a retail store is set up. So what we have to do is we have to choose certain attributes, okay, uh, on which we are going to decide upon uh, the location which we are going to select for the retail. So ultimately what we uh, say is like, you know, uh, the location will be having very high impact, okay, and also has very important for any retailer uh, in executing his uh, overall strategy, okay. While deciding upon the overall strategy as well as, you know, execution of the strategy also includes the location which will be having in one or the other way it is going to impact, okay, retailer's strategy. Okay, as uh, we people know and the previous classes we have discussed like there are certain elements we have in a retail mix which has to be considered this location strategy is one among them and these all things we are going to come you know, uh, uh, no, we are going to discuss in coming uh, you know modules fine here uh, especially elements in retail mix like location strategy what we people are discussing at present which also have an equal importance compared to the other you know retail elements okay, of a mix like customer services we have like uh, how you people are going to design the store and how you people are going to you know, uh, display the merchandise then what you know communication mix that you people are going to select for you know uh, promoting the products fine and what pricing strategy you want to include and what are the 
merchandise assortment that you people are going to include into your shop okay which are the categories the product lines which you are going to select for uh, it all depends along with this uh, your retail strategy also plays a very important sorry the location strategy also plays a very important role okay fine there are certain importance of uh, you know sir location uh, decision okay why is so much of uh, concentration is given on uh, decision with respect to the location which includes you know major cost certain factors what we are going to discuss among uh, us regarding the cost factors see there are certain which will be involves uh, large capital investment because the investment will be in your infrastructure okay and the materials which we people are going to use in the retail uh, you know store okay for holding for transporting transportation inside okay what we say it as you know material handling uh, equipment the racks etc then which will be also affecting transportation cost because uh, we see to it you know uh, the location will be such that you know which will be reducing the cost of transportation making you know your uh, product reach you with a very lesser cost so see to it that you know uh, the logistics okay or a distribution whatever you know which comes in uh, you know in the uh, you know total supply chain management see to it that it will be more effective in a uh, in making your uh, you know business more profitable one also it will be affecting the human resource because the availability of the uh, type of skilled people around that retail location where you have started your retail store also matters a lot so see to it that you know composition of uh, you know different uh, set of skills which you people require in running your retail store so whether those type of you know human resources available around you or not has to be also taken care because this also improves the cost and also you know even uh, there are certain you know revenue factors in uh, decision uh, which we people take on uh, location which will be affecting the amount of uh, customer traffic okay location will be uh, selected in such a way that you know more traffic you know passes in front of the store okay or maybe accessibility of your store is very high for the traffic which are you know moving around that particular location then also which will be affecting the volume of the business because the number of customers who passes through the store and the amount of business which you are going to be able to do the potentiality of the business has to be also considered while you know selecting a particular you know location this means that you know these all things has to be considered while taking a decision with respect to your location strategy so that's why you know a location decision which would be always influenced by the flow of a pedestrian or maybe uh, a traffic uh, with the you know uh, uh, the vehicles which you are going to uh, pass in front of your store so which will be also determining certain footfalls especially you know footfall means like you know you can take like uh, the total number of uh, uh, customers who will be just visiting your store for that particular time period okay maybe a time period maybe per day you say you take per week or maybe at particular weekend you can say two days maybe saturday or sunday how many customers will be visiting that particular store fine so all those things has to be also considered while you know selecting a location for the retail store okay there are certain levels of uh, you know location decisions and uh, which are you no know, and also certain determining factors related to that there are three things like you know selection of a city then within the city selection of an area and also once you people are selected an area certain specific you know site okay these three things play a very important role so when we people are selecting a type of city which is the major uh, you know uh, factor which has to be considered like you know the size of the city is a trading area how much business happens and uh, how much geographically uh, you know the business can be spread okay that has to be seen also as i told you know for the growth of the population people residing in that particular area that particular trading area has to be also considered you get it from the government essential data fine which will be helping you people to decide upon which are those eight, sorry which are the cities which will be giving you know uh, promising uh, profit or returns to you people if you are going to invest in them okay has to be considered there may be a purchasing power of of uh, the customers who are residing in that particular trade area and the uh, availability of uh, products via distribution fine right? so the effectiveness of distribution the connectivity of a retail store with the suppliers the manufacturers with the customers so all those things has to be considered so along with that you know uh, you can take you know the total uh, retail trade potential fine right? 
or different type of categories or the, you know different type of product lines which are highly you know uh, required in that particular area on the basis of the category of the products and uh, different lines what any retail store is going to hold uh, whether they will give the enough profit or not on the basis of the investment what you people have done in that particular area has to be calculated okay along with that you know the retail the also has to consider you know uh, one the number the size okay then uh, quality of the competition which is going to receive from uh, you know uh, the competitors who are in that particular city has to be also considered see to it that you know how much you people are you know uh, capable enough in handling the competition which you, is going to be faced by you know faced by you or any retailer in that area by the competitors so also the development cost expansion like you know going for a diversification you want to go or you want to you know uh, increase uh, you know the business okay uh, want to you know increase the carpet area of uh, uh, the retail store then for that development what will be the cost in the future also has to be decided at present so the second one once the city is selected you have to select an area or maybe what we say as a type of location within the city so city has been considered that we have to enter in the city with certain retail store, you know uh, concept and in that city which is the specific area which will be giving us you know uh, or also helping a strategy of a retailer to get executed and get you know output whatever is required as in the form of objectives what has been set so there are certain evaluation that you people have to do regarding uh, this there are certain factors has which has to be considered for the evaluation when you people are selecting a location within the city the city which you people have selected so here in uh, one that factor is second customer attraction power of a shopping district or maybe a particular store okay in that particular area which type of you know um, uh, you know which type of stores are more you know uh, valued or into the demand has to be considered those all calculation has to be done and identification has to be also done so along with that you know you people have to see to it that you know as i told you in the previous slide where even the product lines or type of products which are sold in those areas so how much profit that can be gained by you know selling such type of products has to be also considered you have to match those type of products and the income what you get out of those product lines okay and to the uh, investment what you people have done in that particular location okay so number of uh, stores in that particular area if you go through number of stores in the particular area you come to know an idea which type of products are sold here and what is the level of competition that also has to be considered so maybe the availability availability of you know access to you know, uh, access routes where uh, the opportunity to enter an area uh, this also has to be keenly observed if you just you know recall the potter's five force model that we say you know the threat of new entrants especially the competitors or maybe the present players into that market they make a safety shell around the market where the new entrants shouldn't enter but still you know there are certain uh, loopholes for any you know uh, market you know to uh, i mean sorry any loopholes which a competitor will be having uh, or maybe the group of competitors of players presently who are already into that particular market so that loophole has to be find which are the best way that we can enter the market has to be also you know observed and you have to decide upon that the nature of zoning regulations maybe the regulation or legal requirements you know to start a business in that particular area whether that is also supporting the culture of the organization or not culture of the retail organization has to be also considered so then also we say direction of the spread of the city then see to it that you know uh, how much the growth okay area wise we are talking about area wise that city is going to grow which is that particular area where the city wants to grow okay the see to it that you know the where there is a more growth okay in that area probably if you get a location you can you know um, say cover the maximum area uh, which is present now as well as which is upcoming segments fine so once you people select a location in that location you people have to select a place a site okay see to it that you know adequacy and potential of you know traffic will be passing in front of that particular site okay where more pedestrian or vehicles move a lot okay in that location you people have to select a site so with that particular site has to have access to the more pedestrian from this to the traffic then also maybe you know uh, that uh, the site which will be helping you people to manage uh, 
you know the traffic or maybe intercept we say that traffic has to pass in front of that side somehow see to it that you know they won't miss okay uh, by you know um, observing the retail store which is in that particular site okay or oh, sorry a location so next we are like you know complementary nature of you know adjacent stores where uh, the certain type of stores which are around the you know uh, around your site which will be helping even bringing some customers along with their own so some customers who are visiting certain type of stores in that particular location they find that you know there is an accessibility for your site your type of retail store so somewhere even those people also will be bringing you know uh, a customers to your stores to so see to it that you know such type of you know uh, help that you have to get from the location or the site fine okay uh, any doubt still here you people have can somebody respond immediately Am I audible to you, people? Yes, sir. Then please respond. I don't know how how you people. Uh, many people are there. Please respond uh, if whenever is required. Okay. Uh, do do I need to continue or uh, any doubts to people have till here? No, sir. Okay. So uh, I I'm, I will be just moving to your next slide. Okay. fine there are certain you know different types of uh, retail locations uh, usually they look similar on the you know basis of the wording what people are going to use okay the definition there will be little slight you know uh, changes it all depends on country to country location to the location okay so how we people are going to define in india the location the same type of uh, you know definition may not be possible in some other western countries so they differ and we also differ from each other depends on the type of locations availability and also the type of you know uh, geographically the you know uh, the trade area has been spread along with the different type of segmented customers who are residing in those trade areas okay there is no hard and fast rule as i told you people you know in your uh, retail format the same thing is going to be prevail here also okay so there are different types of retail locations uh, generally which we use throughout the world fine okay now we have something like you know free standing location where uh, we say the something there are no retail outlets only so usually you know uh, where surrounding area of the store uh, you don't find any retail outlets there okay especially uh, you know the business happens on the basis of the capability of a retailer in pulling the customers okay and also you know promoting his products okay total like you know free area it is you cannot find retail stores Right. and uh, we have some neighborhood stores these are type of you know uh, convenient type of uh, stores that you people find in certain areas very smallest areas located in some you know uh, something like a you know, residential neighborhoods okay if you take one layout or a colony in that colony you know there will be certain small uh, stores which will be serving only those type of you know uh, colonies or you know a uh, small localities where something like you know as we say they sell you know convenient products like groceries minimum requirement you know fast moving consumer goods which are used on day to day basis okay so this type of locations uh, what we say it as so you know uh, neighborhood stores we have some highway stores uh, where uh, you can find that you know two to three highways who will be passing or intercepting in between okay and you find too much of traffic that the people who are you know, going to you know travel from one place to other place and those all uh, two to three highways are going to meet at particular place It 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 something looks like in a junction. In such type of location, uh, you find certain dhabas or maybe with some good parking, some fast food restaurants, okay, and some you know uh, products which which are essential immediately, which can be available to them on the basis of the necessity. Not everything is available there. Like you know, if you go to some certain dhabas, you find some uh, small uh, you know grocery, uh, maybe some convenient type of stores. People find which is uh, you know. Uh, the situation is somewhere uh, adjusted to the dhabas, right? Uh, so minimum things which is required, uh, your people can buy. It. So we say it as something like you know highway stores, where uh, as I told you, located along with the highways or at the intersections of uh, two to three highways, which will be you know helping any retailer to attract certain customers who will be passing through those highways. Okay, you find much into your you know uh, in India people find much type of you know uh, locations. those type of you know location which are situated around the highways we say it as highway stores 
also we have different type of uh, like you know uh, uh, business associated locations where look uh, these the, these are something like you know group of uh, retail outlets which will be uh, uh, having a concept of uh, uh, giving more uh, you know um, variety of uh, merchandise okay and also they all will be working together in uh, attracting certain type of uh, customers and that area will be you know um, situated in such a location that where different type of retailers are there but still there will be certain type of uh, you know competition between each other fine so example like you know you can take the same like uh, you go to some uh, Uh, like your Bapar Gali, fine. Uh, if that uh, you know, we said a business associated location, Bapar Gali, where you find almost all type of you know uh, electronic items is related to the mobile and you know communication. So we say we can say those type of examples like uh, Bapar Gali in Belgaum can be taken as business associated locations where all are something related type of retailers only, and they will be competing with each other. So we have something uh, different type of uh, you know. locations on the basis of uh, unplanned business district and also we have the planned shopping centers fine so once we we for talk about this uh, planned business and uh, sorry unplanned business districts name itself says that you know these are type of uh, locations for a retailer which will be uh, you know, having two or more retail stores which will be located together in a individual consideration okay rather than on the basis of any long range uh, you know a collective planning they don't do much planning here all are you know uh, situated you know very nearby maybe uh, as a single wall can be differentiating between uh, or you know intersecting between uh, two you know shops or retail shops for example like you know uh, four to five uh, shoe stores which are located in the same street okay uh, adjacent to each other so this is something unplanned business way to do see to it that you know uh, in that particular area what may be the you know uh, locations which are very really best enough to Uh, handle the entire area uh, will be decided so what they do is uh, they just start the business adjacent to each other fine right? and uh, they will be competing with them each other also so we have something a uh, different type of uh, unplanned business districts where we say it as downtown also which is called as you know uh, central business district fine right? so uh, out of this central business district you know suburban uh, business districts is also comes out of it okay we will discuss we will discuss that in uh, and detail in later right okay so we have something downtown or you know central business district which is usually uh, has certain area for a trade okay and that will be varying according to the size of the city or a town so something it is like you know uh, in this you know central business district we consider size okay uh, and uh, the size will be completely depend on okay the city or a town how much geographically it is spread fine example we can say like you know commercial street in uh, uh, you know you go to bangalore fine or uh, you have the mg road especially okay and uh, it will be very you know uh, a very bigger one with uh, more variety of retail stores once you people enter okay we can give best example is your uh, you know kolapur road from uh, chennamma circle to moving or heading towards uh, you know the kelly hospital in between till ramdev if you not if i'm not wrong till ramde you get almost all type of branded uh, you know showrooms there fine some few malls you have so especially for shopping there may be that uh, may be a you know central business district or location uh, into that particular city we are going to select and then we have secondary business district which will be composed of an unplanned cluster of stores of located on a major intersection you know the intersection of the city we have an example here see for the central business district uh, at the uh, you know bottom left you can see okay uh, in between whatever the red lines you people find this is the area where almost all type of uh, you know uh, retail shops which are available in different uh, you know line or you know streets also we have secondary business which is something unorganized something away from whatever you people find in the green uh, boxes there is something they are very much away from uh, you know these type of uh, you know uh, district central business district because of uh, the nature that you know they manage a very small type of locations okay uh, which uh, will be having uh, interception of different uh, roads there okay and uh, because of uh, high traffic that people uh, i mean retailers find that uh, the customers moving from one location to the other locations fine next we have something like you know neighborhood uh, business districts 
these are the stores uh, which are located in a very neighborhood business districts from a smallest cluster or maybe something they will be serving a small area a trading area for example like city or you can take it as a town also there is something they are away from the uh, the bigger city the district very small areas where even they will be also same type of culture what people find in the major cities okay the smallest area which will be selected especially for the trade and people move from uh, bigger cities to the smallest towns just to buy okay maybe due to the attraction power of the retailers and uh, the um, the investment will be less there and uh, the business can be done in a very competitive way so people travel from the bigger cities to the smaller towns uh, because of the you know uh, the good deal what those people get well uh, you know the purchasing the required merchandise for their family or maybe for the personal use okay so that's why we say it as you know for neighbor uh, neighborhood business districts we use this example like city or a towns so we have something suburban uh, business districts this is something you know a part of your uh, central business district where the uh, stores will be located okay uh, especially on the uh, uh, like you know certain small uh, towns okay due to some uh, very little rent those people are going to pay the rent rent will be very uh, less and also you know often uh, more the people are going to rely on the traffic which is going to be generated by that particular downtown okay and also maybe sometimes uh, more parking facility will be available uh, for the you know customers uh, and that will lead to very convenience of uh, shopping at that particular place a like, uh, example like you know you can find a mall in very smaller uh, towns uh, near the big cities okay you can take any example of that small towns okay this is the you know uh, a picture presentation that you have for your neighborhood maybe secondary business district or central business district this is how the area is going to be covered and the selection of the location okay so now we have something you know uh, unplanned shopping sorry planned shopping center this is what we people have discussed uh, you know um, sorry the last slide was on unplanned uh, business districts fine and now we have something a planned uh, shopping centers Uh, which will be you know you can find a good infrastructure fine uh, like uh, they use architecture uh, with a nice building okay which will be managed in a very formal way and also they are going to design and operate as you know separate business entity only or a unit okay which will be having uh, all parking facilities and also they are going to balance the you know tendency which people are going to uh, find in that particular area so we have one like you know regional shopping centers malls okay now these are certain type of malls which will be you know planned in a very larger way okay and uh, which will be also having some two to three different departmental stores inside it for example like your you know big bazaar fine and uh, which are as we people go to you know big bazaar or maybe you know reliance smart where you have which is something like enclosed malls they are and also will be having very larger trading area okay and also you can find the rent of those malls will be very high if it is owned by a owner it's okay but even for maintaining that it requires lot of you know cost so we have something like you know community shopping centers or neighborhood uh, we say it as you know uh, shopping centers compared to the previous unplanned one where uh, this is something like you know which will having very uh, balanced uh, mix of uh, stores okay in that particular shopping center which will be having some variety of uh, variety stores okay and uh, uh, maybe some uh, chemist will be there or some grocery stores very smaller stores which will be covering uh, you know uh, that particular small location or area okay so a planned one and they decide upon which has to be what type of stores has to be included in that particular community shopping center which will be catering almost all type of needs which is uh, of a customers who are residing surrounding uh, you know location so we have specialized market uh, name itself says that uh, the most in india we people find this where only certain particular type of products categories will be available in such type of markets uh, you know the retail shops which are going to be situated in that particular specialized market they are very much specialized in finding only those type of products or related categories okay uh that's what we say it as you know most of the cities will be having such type of uh, you know uh, specialized markets which are very much famous for particular type of product categories fine so we have next like you know peri periodic uh, markets 
this says that you know there's no uh, regularly the business will not happen or maybe regularly that you know uh, retail shops won't situate especially it all depends on you know uh, very specific or particular type of market they are which especially found in india that i told you people which are going to be established in certain places on the basis of the day uh, of a particular week only the those day of that particular week the you know transactional trading will happen fine this you people can find in uh, even smaller towns around the bigger cities where the shopping uh, where the customers cannot come uh, again and again to the cities where the certain type of retailers they go they you know uh, <coughs> they set up their retail <coughs> stores for a day and they do their business and they come fine so here are certain examples sorry uh, examples as this is as per your uh, uh, you know retail management book levy okay written by the levy where uh, these are you know almost uh, fine uh, near to what indian contest fine so uh, you can take it for your own references fine uh, for your regional shopping malls or something like that we'll we'll discuss it in later fine today we'll stop the class here fine uh, regarding your trade off uh, between the locations we'll take it in your uh, next class which will be your uh, i know retail management um, module 2 sorry uh, part 2 uh, module 3 okay uh, till then i think it's enough okay uh, anybody who has any doubts till here okay anybody who have uh, any doubts no sir Okay